Hey guys, Chad here at the Spring Showcase here at Xbox, and I'm talking to Ian, and we are checking out Pit People. So give people, if they've never seen it before, what's a rundown of the game? Okay, um, Pit People is a fast-paced, turn-based co-op adventure. It's uh, with every game we've made, uh, we take on a new genre. So this is our take on the strategy genre, um, with this goal to kind of make a strategy game where people who don't normally play strategy games would maybe pick this one up and have a blast with it. Uh, so we've kind of stripped down and simplified um, a lot of the mechanics that you would see in like tacticals of like you know took away the minutia, and it's really a game about placement or uh, positioning. Excuse me, where you place something here or place something here, and then you execute your orders, then they're just going to do what they do. Yeah, I noticed that. So sometimes I'd be like, okay, you're going to attack all three of these guys. And you know, they just, you know, you, your characters sort of have a mind of their own. And so they do what they're going to do. Now, there was definitely a few things in the strategy area that I was that I noticed. So some people would be good against helmets. Some people could shoot. Some people could attack. Some people could capture. So what is it, what are all of those different classes? Yeah. So that, those are obviously the hard counters and that kind of paper, rock, scissors things going on. Um, there's going to be, you know, like heavy shields are good against arrows. Uh, helmets are good against swords. And then mallets are good against helmets. Um, so we play with that a lot. Um, outside of the, that, that kind of human class and those attributes, there's also a fun array of other different types of fighters and specific like species. So if you play the demo, you probably, which I believe you caught the cupcake, gluten, which is a healing unit. And so that's going to be your healing unit, who's not really good in a, you know, not very aggressive. Uh, you wanted to kind of keep, keep uh, gluten to the back and keep healing your, your fighters and whatnot. And you mentioned co-op. Is it local co-op, internet co-op? How does that tie in? Above, yeah. So for the story campaign, you're going to have single and local co-op and online co-op because couch co-op is like in our DNA. We got to have it. It's like it's who we are. If you've played Battle Block or Castle Crashers, um, so we have that. But there's also up to four player two v two, local and online as well, and like kind of combat arena style. And we also have some other more fun like arena features that we haven't announced yet. Um, so I'm kind of just like teasing that I guess right now. Nice. Shh. Don't tell anyone. I, I won't tell anyone. No one's gonna know. Uh, now, if uh, you've ever played a Behemoth game before, full of hilarious, funny references, a lot of pooping. Uh, what's your favorite part of the sort of humor style in this game? Uh, oh, wow. Um, maybe a favorite character or an item. Yeah, I mean, so you play the game, you, know, you see it through the eyes of these four tragically unique characters. So you have Horatio, the blueberry farmer, Pipistrella, the former princess turned badass, um, uh, Sophia from Spain, <laughs> and... Uh, Come to conquer the new world. And Yosef, exactly, and Yosef, the uh, Demiclops, who's actually, I voice his little, his, his gibberish. But the, the thing we got to talk about is their narrator, which is voiced by Will Stamper, and that's like... Chaotic job, gentlemen. Go wreak havoc elsewhere. Oh, sorry, Pip. Are you upset? He seems like God. He can just make things happen in the game, and he can just like just talk to me while I go to bed. Like, <laughs> it's so he's so great. So he was a narrator in uh, Battle Block Theater, and we brought him in for this one, and created this whole new character. And it's not just like this omniscient narrator. This in this time, it's like he's part of the story without spoiling too much. Like, there's definitely an agenda, and as like we you know refer to as like the unreliable narrator type. Right. Now, when is it available? Um, it's out now. No, just, no, 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 no. I was like, what? No, 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 just kidding, just kidding. No, no, uh, we don't have a release date in true behemoth fashion, but we have a bit a closed beta later this year. Very great. We're open it up to the masses, or a small amount of the masses. The smasses. <laughs> the smasses. So look for it. I hope that you're part of the smasses uh, later on uh, Xbox and Windows 10. Cool. Thank you so much for talking with yeah, me. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you.